these are two nerve endings okay these are two different organs this organ is having muscarinic and nicotinic receptor and this organ is having alpha and beta receptor i mean this nerve is cholinergic now this nerve is adrenergic now so tell me how acetylcholine is synthesized here and how noradrenaline is synthesized here steps so here choline will enter and choline convert into acetylcholine only one step this acetylcholine will enter in the vesicle and remain in the vesicle till the signal comes okay here first there is phenylalanine that will convert into tyrosine tyrosine will enter inside first it will convert into dopa then dopa will convert into dopamine this dopamine will enter in the vesicle and in the vesicle it will convert into noradrenaline it will remain here only till the signal comes so see the synthesis here see the synthesis here give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up now suppose the signal come impulse come impulse come what will happen calcium channel will open calcium channel will open here calcium influx here also calcium influx fusion of vesicle here fusion of vesicle here so here acetylcholine will come out okay and here noradrenaline will come out okay so here acetylcholine go and bind with muscarinic and nicotinic receptor and show its action here noradrenaline will come bind with alpha and beta receptor and shows its action the action action why i have told such a long story the action of both of them is for millisecond okay for a fraction of second or millisecond here also here also what after that after that we have to destroy we have to destroy them destroy the neurotransmitter destroy the neurotransmitter so that the new impulse should come so how destruction occurs here in acetylcholine first you tell me after a millisecond how does the destruction occur i'm asking you see ma'am there is an enzyme the name of the enzyme is choline esterase acetylcholine esterase is the enzyme that degrade acetylcholine and section is terminated after a millisecond this happens now for the new action new impulse will come and the story is repeated okay here destruction do not take place no destruction no destruction here the action is terminated because of destruction or hydrolysis of the neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine here in cholinergic system the termination of the action mind my words the termination of action of acetylcholine is due to destruction or hydrolysis of the acetylcholine by enzyme choline esterase enzyme here destruction do not take place you will see then why, how the action will be terminated uh, noradrenaline cannot keep on acting on these receptors forever of course it's not after a millisecond its action is terminated say ma'am how how it is via reuptake it is via reuptake that is the biggest difference so here noradrenaline first reuptake takes place in the cytoplasm reuptake i am using the word re uptake reuptake so after a millisecond it is reuptake re this is known as reuptake one okay so first it is reuptake in the cytoplasm once it reaches the cytoplasm suppose it reaches the cytoplasm here from the cytoplasm again it is reuptake into the vesicle so two step reuptake two step reuptake and again it is it will be stored in the vesicle till the next impulse come so the next impulse come the story is repeated so two step reuptake so 99% is reuptake how much 99 1% story is different but for 99% the major route of termination of noradrenaline is reuptake where reuptake say ma'am first in the cytoplasm and then in the vesicle first in the exoplasm exoplasm is cytoplasm and then in the vesicle two step reuptake say people yes i am trying got it this is for 99% reuptake will be the source of um, i mean will be the cause of termination of action but what about the 1% the remaining 1% will move in the blood it will move in the circulation in the blood the remaining 1% or not exact percentage the major portion is reuptake and the minor portion will go in the blood 1% or minor portion will go in the blood what will happen in the blood in the blood it will be acted about upon by the enzymes so two enzymes will act on it on this noradrenaline which is present in the blood in the blood on the noradrenaline two enzymes will act the name of the enzymes is cumt and mao okay these enzymes will convert this noradrenaline to vma vinyl mandelic acid and it is excreted in the urine it is excreted in the urine so a little portion is excreted in the urine in the form of vinyl mandelic acid that is the end metabolite here that is only a ma minor portion the major portion is reuptake so this is how the termination is different in both of them i tried allow me to flip this slide hello everyone i hope you found this concept clear and easy to understand if you had like to dive deeper into this topic and master it with full length lectures you can subscribe my app that is medlife by dr priyanka so join me for the live sessions where we break down the complex topics in a way that makes them simple and high yield for exams see you inside